One of the many applications of matrices in linear algebra is finding the solution of a linear system. And for today, we're going to use a different rule or method on how to find the value of x and y, or x, y, z, in a given linear system using the Kramer's rule. Now, this rule uses determinants to write the solution of a system of linear equation. So in this particular topic, you need to be able to know how to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix and a 3 by 3 matrix to be able to understand the algorithm that we're going to use in uh, finding the solution of a linear system using our Kramer's rule. Now in our first example we have 2x minus 5y is equal to 3 and negative 4x plus 3y is equal to 8 which is a linear system. Now in previous algebra lesson, we know that to find the solution of a linear system, we can use the elimination method, the substitution method, and the graphing method. But this time around, we're going to use our matrices in finding an alternative way to find the solutions of a linear system. Now, the first step that we're going to do to be able to find the solution of our linear system is to change our linear system into its augmented matrix. After changing its augmented matrix, we're then going to find the determinants of that matrices using it each transformation. So the transformation that we're going to use to find our determinants will be the determinant of the coefficient matrix, determinant of x, and determinant of y. So these are the notations that we're going to use to find the solution of a linear system given an x and y variable. So our first step is to find, or the second step after changing the linear system to augmented matrix is to find the determinant of the coefficient matrix. And the coefficient matrix is just 2, negative 4, and negative 5, and 3. So just like what we did in our previous lesson, finding the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is pretty simple. Just multiply the first diagonal, subtract it to the second diagonal, and you'll have negative 14. So the first determinant will be for negative 14, and that is our coefficient matrix. Now for our second matrix that will help us find the value of x, the next rule will be to use the coefficient matrix, but this time around, you're going to change the x column into the right-hand side. So that's how we transform the new matrix to find our numerical value to help us find the x coordinate. So dx is equal to 3, 8, and negative 5, and 3. So we change the first column by the right-hand side. And using the rule in finding the determinant, dx is equal to 49. And just like what we did in dx, if we change the first column by the right-hand side, to find the value of y, we're going to change the second column by the right-hand side. That's why in our step number 4, dy is now 2, negative 4, and 3, and 8. And after you transform your matrix, you can now find the determinant of our dy, which will give us 28. So now that we have the determinant of d, the determinant of x, and the determinant of y, we can now solve for the value of x and y coordinate for the solution of our linear system. And to do that, step number 5 is x equal to dx over d. So by direct substitution, the determinant of x is equal to 49, all over the determinant of d, which is negative 14, which gives us 49 all over negative 14, or negative 9 over 2. So this is our x value, and for our y value, it's dy over d, so we'll have 28 all over negative 14, which, is give, which gives us negative 2. So the solutions of uh, our linear system using Kramer's rule is negative 9 over 2, and negative 2. And these are the steps that we're going to use in finding the solutions of a, a linear system using Kramer's rule. So for example number 2 we have another linear system with x and y variable. So the first step is to change the linear system into its augmented matrix and find the other three determinants that we can use in finding the value of x and y coordinate of our solution to the linear system. So the first step is to find the determinant of the coefficient matrix, which gives us negative 14. The next step will be to find the determinant of x by changing the first column by the right hand side and copying the original matrix to find dx. So dx is equal to negative 28. 
And for step number four, to find dy, we're changing the y column or the second column by the right-hand side and then find the determinant of dy, which gives us 14. So now that we have our three determinants, we can now find the value of x and y by using the formula. So dx over d is negative 28 over negative 14. Therefore, the x value of our solution is positive 2, and the y value of our solution will be negative 1. So using Kramer's rule, finding the solution of our linear system is 2 and negative 1. And that's the a method that we use to find the solutions of a linear system given an x and y variable. Now on our last example, I'm going to show you how to find the solution of a linear system with an x variable, y variable, and z as a variable. So now that we have the x, y, and z variable that we need to find to be able to find the solution of this linear system, the rule is pretty much the same. However, finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is quite tedious than finding the 2 by 2. So to do that, we have the steps right here that we're going to use in finding the determinant of our coefficient matrix, dx, dy, and dz. Now I'm not going to show you the... Uh, actual solution in finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So that means you should know how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix to be able to understand how we got x, y, and z. So the first determinant, the coefficient matrix, we have one, negative 1, 2, 3, 2, 0, negative 4, and negative 3, negative 1. Copy the first two columns and then find the determinant by multiplying the first three groups subtracted by the next three groups of your diagonal, so, which will give you 10 as your determinant. And for step number three, you will change your x column by the right-hand side, which is 1, 0, 2, which gives you dx is equal to a. And for step number four, finding dy, you're changing the second column by the right-hand side using the steps of finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, dy is equal to negative 15. And for step number 5, you have to change the last column by the right-hand side and proceed to the um, process of finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, which gives you negative 16. So now that we have our determinants, we are now ready to find the values of x, y, and z, which is the solution of our linear system, which gives us 8 over 10, negative 15 over 10, and negative 16 over 10 for the values of x, y, and z. So therefore, the solution of our linear system using the Kramer's rule with the 3 by 3 matrix is 4 over 5, negative 3 over 2, and negative 8 over 5.